Hello, Bitter here. I have some unfortunate news. My Pine Phone Pro broke, um, and actually broke in a way that there are a lot of warnings online. Uh, the SIM tray slash SD card tray is not built very well. In fact, I would say it's pretty stupid. Um, let me show you. When you open it up, so this is the SD card. Okay, if you can see this right here, this is where the SIM card goes. This is what failed. I can pull this out right now. What you do is you put the SIM card inside of this plastic very hard to push in because you have to hold it together while pushing it in here. Very awkward. So I left it inserted in here for probably a year, year and a half when I tried pulling it out. It got stuck on the pins right here. Now if you look, I don't know how hard this is to see, but the pins right here got pulled up. And so I ended up having to use a screwdriver to push them back down. And now I tried putting the SIM card in directly as well and further inside so these are the, the pins for the SD card. Some of those got bent too. Now, I theoretically, I could open this whole thing up, I guess with the screwdrivers and try to straighten the pins. Maybe I will, I don't know. But, um, disappointment. Like, this whole system where you have to insert this SIM card inside of this, and keep in mind, the SIM card is upside down, so you have to hold it to the plastic and somehow insert it in here at the same time. Not very nice. Like honestly pretty terrible design I haven't seen anything quite this horrible before I don't know why they don't have a thing that comes out the side like standard phones but yeah um, disappointment buyer beware coming back to this if I can figure out how to mount it as a drive and install an OS that way you'll see new videos on this continuing forward um, my next video is planned to be about Waydroid even if I can't get it installed in here, I'll be running on an actual um, Linux system on my computer, using that to demo how you install and use it, which should be applicable to these phones as well. So this phone is a fairly big disappointment. It's $400, which isn't that cheap, honestly. You can get the $200 one, which is not the Pro, but compared to an Android phone, the Android phones have much better builds and much better speakers and much better specs. If you're buying this, you are literally donating to help it, helping Linux be installed. And I donated, even um, I should have had an SD card arrive with this. Uh, it apparently did not have any kind of packaging in the box, it was just loose in the box. So I threw it out, apparently. And uh, the Pine64 people said it was my fault. So I'm probably not buying this brand again, personally. You can try it, it's very interesting. But I think for a lot of people, uh, let's put it this way. There are probably more people running Linux on their phone using the Pixel than there are using the Pine phone. And what that means in the end is the Pixel has a lot better support, a lot more support. And it's probably gonna be a better user experience in general. It's great this is coming along, but it's still kind of garbage. And honestly, even if you're uh, running a Linux machine, it was probably designed for Windows. And so it's not that big of a leap or a difference. You might wanna think about that when you're doing your next purchase decision. Now switching to a more positive note, uh, Ubuntu Touch was amazing. It was amazing. Um, if this was still working, I would be using that full-time for a while. Um, you can tell that Canonical was trying to create a commercial product for normal people to use. It was fairly complete, it felt good, it felt like they had a vision. I would still want to try Fosh once it gets more mature, but for now, probably for the next one or two years, I would have used it. Now, some of the interesting parts of it is you swipe this way and it switches applications. You do a long swipe and it brings up the application switcher. Opposite direction, small swipe, you get a list of applications you can switch to and open. Long swipe, you get the full list of applications. It's very unique and original, and I do like it. On a large phone for small hands, it might be a little bit awkward, but it's also nice in that you don't have to worry about um, icons on the bottom accidentally clicking them. Because honestly, a lot of the modern applications try to take advantage of that to try to make you accidentally click things where they try to sell you something. So, in any case, if I can't get this working, next time I'll be going over a Um That should be fun. I want to be able to run line on there. And if I can run line, that means I can communicate with friends and family full-time on a Linux phone. So I'm excited. 
All right, thank you everybody for watching. I always appreciate it. Leave comments below on anything you might want me to cover in the future and catch you all later. Bye.